we're back for another thrilling episode of Raftatui. This is we're amazing. Here, Hell yeah. Uh, this is our new show on New Show Plus. We did our first episode last week, and our lovely patrons voted for an episode too. They wanted to see this series continue. The ratings were through the roof, Leo. I have never seen anything like it. The Nielsen boxes were lit on fire because people were so excited about it. They kept sending in flash paper for some reason. <laughs> Their ballots. Uh, it was a close call this week, though, so we let people vote every single week on Patreon what we're going to be doing or continuing with New Show Plus. Uh, what was the second place? It was so close. Which one was it, Leo? The second place was, of course, uh, the e-shopping spree. Oh, that's right, which was kind of the birth of the entire New Show Plus idea was you and Anna talking about how you should have a show that's just an e-shopping spree. Yes, I think you can find that in the archive of the Monster Hunter Rise demo, <laughs> Goaty Hunt. Yeah, but I was amazed and happy that people chose for us to continue this adventure in Raft because I thought for sure people would choose for the Mass Effect 3 co-op stream. Uh, where it's going to be Surreal and I and, and maybe some other folks playing Mass Effect 3 co-op. But maybe we can bring that back in the future because all these things that don't win every week, they might win uh, the following week. So thanks, everybody, for supporting us on Patreon and uh, voting in that big old poll if you're at the Backstage Pass here. Absolutely. And thank you, Daphonomics and maybe Titanium for the subs? For the resubs? Oh, maybe Titanium for the follow, Mega Doctor Rock for the subs. Sorry. God. Twitch is hard, man. I know, I know. But thanks, everybody, for following us on Twitch and watching us on YouTube. Do you Leo, think... Oh, yeah. Nowadays in school, they get kids to get excited about reading because it's like you got to be able to read the sub notifications. Mm. when you become a famous streamer? I think so. I remember when I was learning to type, I remember be so, being so thankful for Age of Empires 1 because that was like my incentive to learn to type fast because I had to communicate quickly with my teammates. And so I felt like I always had a leg up in keyboarding class, which did you have keyboarding class, Leo? Or are you I just... did, and I'm so grateful for it. Really? Yeah. L like, it was a pain in the ass to learn to type with those... Uh, keyboard covers so you couldn't look yeah. at the keys oh right yeah because that's cheating uh and i hated it and i cheated sometimes but <laughs> i'm so glad that i don't need to look at the keyboard <laughs> maybe i still wouldn't but i don't know i think that t t t typing technique they teach in school is helpful yeah is fast um, leo what is this and what are we doing oh god that shark is back we're playing raft and what we're doing we've got to figure that out man We've got to find a new goal. I think we've built a beautiful ship with a beautiful sail. How much um, control do we have here now? Um, like, can that sail make us move at like Mach 10? What's going on here? I think we can choose our direction now. Yeah, because you can go up to it and uh, rotate it. Oh, interesting. So we should just keep our eyes on the horizon and the people in the chat should help us look to the horizon to try and figure out where we're aiming the sucker? Yeah. Absolutely, but at the instant we got the sail, we stopped being naturally driven between islands, which is kind of how, where the current takes you. But uh, now we got nothing. Um, there's a barrel out yonder, Leo, if you want to go towards that. Oh, that's a fun idea. Also, do you have one plastic for me? You know I got plastics for you all day, bud. Yeah, thanks, dude. Insert him in my veins. Your man's just kind of standing there. There we go. Oh my gosh, thank you. You got it, Leo, though. I feel like on the last episode of Raft of Tui, I let you down, man. I, no. I wasn't a good Raft partner, and I know that. Uh, I've been going to therapy. I feel like I get it now. And no. So I want you to know that this, this episode of Raft of Tui, I've got your back, 100%. Whatever you need, uh, y if you say jump, I say in which direction off of the raft? Jump. Okay, Leo! You didn't oh, even ask which direction. <laughs> That's how loyal I am. I don't even need to ask. <laughs> and now I'm just kind of drowning um, under the raft. Um, the shark gotcha. Oh, my mother of God. Okay. <laughs> Why can I not get back up? Okay. Because we're going away from you so fast. <laughs> oh, Leo. Please, I'm alive. turning the sail around. I'm sick of these effed up loyalty tests. It's costing us the game, dude. <laughs> well, I don't... I can't, how far can we really get if I don't even trust you? <laughs> That's a good point. We might as well be going in circles with this stupid sail. Which we probably will. 
if we just keep going towards barrels. <laughs> um, what's a new crafting goal for us to both work towards? Mm. I'm still just trying to have anything in my stomach other than salt water. Um, I think if you get a fishing rod, throw yeah. fish on the barbie. It's a pretty reliable food engine. Perfect. Okay. And so that's how you're satiating yourself? Yes. Mm. Do we need another fire pit if we're going to have two bold fishermen here? I don't think so. They cook pretty fast. Okay. Um, do we have a place to put our excess inventory? Is that what this is here? Yes. Oh. That's a little small storage thing. Okay. Perfect. I will... Put some stuff in this then, um, because I want to help out the crew. It is oh, amazing wow. having this level of control. Oh, yeah. Although it's kind of scary. There's something kind of satisfying about just being taken wherever it wants us to go. I yes. Like Steering us in a place where there were. I feel like we're responsible for our own fate now in a way that I'm not comfortable with, both in uh, life and in this game. I'm 100% with you, and that's uh, what we're going to have to come to terms with on uh, today's there, episode. There is something on the horizon. On the horizon yeah. Yes, I'm trying to direct us to that. can barely see it, and it actually keeps coming in and out. Yeah. Yeah, there's a tree at the top of a tall island there. Thanks, Grizzled Gaming, for the sub, and ENT Clark for the gift sub. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh, we can go for beds, says Mamil23. They let you sleep through the night and can be used to revive incapacitated friends. That would be nice. Yeah. I'll craft one for me. Okay, I'm going to steal it. I'm what do you think about the bed being at the edge of the pier? That's a fun idea. I don't know how practical it is. I kind of like that <laughs> as the fishing pier, even though right now I'm refusing to fish from it. Yeah, despite us never having fish from it. Oh! We're good. Um, We're good. Oh my gosh. You know, we need to build a better place to put the bed, I think. Maybe off the back here? A little bed um, spot? Yeah, I think just making this raft bigger overall. Like, we have our sweet uh, peninsula of pleasure, but we could probably do a better job of just fighting off the shark by broadening the sucker out. Yeah, let's do that. I need more wood. I need some basic health. How do I, how do, I do that? I think it just goes up over time. You just got eaten by the shark quite recently. That, that's right. I'm sorry. That slipped my mind. It, it happens quite often. Yeah. Oh, here he comes again. God. We don't want you here. You can't be part of Raptor 2. -y. It's not called Raptor 3. -y. How many times are we going to tell you? Rude. He's trying to get on this freaking show. He knows it's a ratings bonanza. Yeah. It went past the pilot. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how often that's going to happen with New Show Plus. I feel like we had an edge this time because it's exciting to do the thing that this show makes possible, which is get a second episode. Mm, you feel like in the future, it's not going to be as common. It won't be so easy. Oh, interesting. It was satisfying seeing the poll be this close this time around, though. Like, it's always nice when it's not just a, a complete blowout. Yeah, for sure. Um, What other crafting goals do we want? You can make shelves, which implies the existence of walls. Mmm. Walls would be nice. Walls would be cool. Let's see. Do you got any plastic lying around? Mm, I guess I can find my own plastic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. With the building hammer, you can switch between different types of things to build. Oh. Make a cool rope fence. Oh, my God. That's huge. This is, this is everything. Yeah. You can repair. You can stair. Which is it. what I call making stairs. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Armored foundation. Tips, Leo? What's that? Do you have any fishing tips? Throw the rod in the water and wait. And then when it tells you to press left mouse button, well, that's when you press left mouse button. Okay. Cool. Thanks. I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> is it not going well for you? Um. No, it's not. Yeah, I mean, oh, I see. There's just not an animation, but it's actually giving me the fish in the inventory. Okay. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Bird, get out of here. Damn you. We need, we need like a, a roof or some way to um, 
protect our beautiful raft from all these birds. We do. We just gotta listen for that sound and chase them off for now. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, oh. yummy. I think my wife's gonna be on that raft, Leo. I'm feeling very positive about this. Which raft? Oh! Just think of the possibilities over there. Should we go back and get it? Well, isn't that where we're going to? No, the sails pointed the opposite way. But oh, the island yeah. has only disappeared. That we were headed towards. Oh, I thought the island was the raft. I don't think so. I definitely saw a tree above the... We were probably just looking at different things. But let's go oh, get that raft for now. Please, please. Ooh, looks like Barrel City over there, too. Oh, population barrels. <laughs> and two peas in a pod in those barrels. Hell yeah. I think I'm going to just use the barrel as my new raft. I'm that in love with it. Okay. I was, um, I have like a note in my phone for good future gifts for anybody and everybody. Uh huh. You're not in there. I'm sorry. Maybe I'll add you. But, um, but I, I've been meaning to buy this for a while for my nephews. But wouldn't the best, like, Christmas gift or birthday gift just be a big barrel when you're a kid? You can play in it. You can learn to, like, ride it, like, to, to roll it and stand on it, which is endlessly fun. Do you think that's good? Hmm. If I were a kid and I received a barrel, I would get inside of it and roll down a hill. Yeah, and it would be very fun. Yes, it would be fun for the child. They may also die. You know, that's a risk I'm willing to take. Um, okay. I would say I'm here? like jackass. I'm like jackass. And then they would put it on my gravestone. <laughs> he truly was a jackass. Ooh. Long yep. bomber on this barrel. Yep. All yeah. right. What do you got here? What do you got here? Yoink it. Oh. Ooh, recipe for vegetable soup. Now, oh, nice. If only we had some vegetables. Or broth. No kidding. We got an island close here, too, so I think we're in great shape. Perfect. Um, Let me get this down here. Okay. All right, vegetable soup. Here we go. Researching now. I'm still confused about this research. Research. Uh, research. Yeah. The research screen. I just put the item in there and then let it sit? Yeah. It is researched for us. Great. I'll let her fly then. Ooh. He's eating the edge of our pear. What the hell, man? What the hell? Do you know how many barrels are out there? They're just nothing but wooden things for you to chew on. Unless well, this is like a means to the end. We don't want to eat in our barrels. Well, that's true. I shouldn't have told him about those freaking barrels. It's going to come back to bite us. In fact, let's go yoink these barrels on our way to the island. Yeah, smart idea. <gasps> oh my god. Isn't it beautiful? It is beautiful. There's going to be so much great fruit on there. Yeah. Everything you can imagine. Okay. All right, still still getting the hang of this. Placing fish, cooking fish, kissing fish. It's a do. satisfying loop, isn't it? Yeah. Kissing fish. Yeah. How much? Uh, <laughs> how much in the last week have you thought about this game? A couple times. Yeah, I I was tempted to to play more of it because I don't really have like a big game to play right now. Right. This is this is what I would like to be playing in my free time. Well, I don't think that's I don't know. What does chat think? Should we be allowed to play it off stream? No, absolutely not. You don't think maybe so? At some point, maybe after it's like failed in the running or something. Sure. Well, it's it's just that so many shows will have a time jump, you know, reboot to name one. Mhm. Mm oh, interesting. Bit of a time yeah. skip. Yeah, maybe um, maybe that could be its own poll. Do you want to see a time skip in Raft or not? Yeah. Basically, I think most of society can be fixed through a series of polls. <laughs> and time skips. <laughs> That's right. Oh. Hello. What? Oh, hello. weird. <laughs> I guess I didn't reel it all the way in. No wonder I'm bad at fishing. I can't catch a barrel. <laughs> oh. This one. 
Damn you. Oh my god. Damn you. Milo. Students uh, become the damn master. Hey, Leo. I don't want to freak you out, but have we been to this island before? Yeah, what was it you called it again? I believe I called it um, the uh, Scylla and Charybdis, if I do recall. Yes. I Something cl clever and tasteful like that. The thing yeah. is, though, I chopped down those damn trees. Oh, okay. So this is a completely different one here. Mmm. Graffles Waffles says maybe a sharp pointy stick can help with the shark. What an interesting theory. What an interesting I theory. I don't know how I feel about this high level play that you're you're all about. We are about six planks short. All right. Or I am. Um, how many planks you got, bud? Leo, I got planks for days, son. Please take. Please take a plank. Ooh. Ooh, you've got a lot of planks. Thank you. Okay, I'll be on shark duty. Tell me next time it pops up. I'll gore its ass. Thanks. Or just aim for its face. Okay. It might be more lethal. Whichever is... Comes up. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes he uses his ass to break <laughs> off a corner of a raft. Yeah. Uh, okay. I have too many things in my inventory. I really just need plastic here. If we have covered so little ground that this is the same island... I'll be devastated. Uh, we'll truly be marooned out here. Yeah, maybe they just don't... Yeah, hang on. Should we be smart about this? Should we, like, start using the location of the sun and stuff to make sure that we're covering new ground? Yeah, there is also something else we can craft. Like a local sun of some sort? A streamer. Useful for knowing which way is forward. Oh, really? That's a thing? I, apparently. Uh, do you have an extra rope for me, bud? Rope? Yeah. Yes, I do. There you go. Thanks, brother. You, you always give me more than I ask for, and I value you. Wow. It's been two days on this raft, but I feel like we're starting to really get each other, man. Yeah. What do you think about the streamer being on the end of the pier? I I'm confused. Compass should be what we're looking for here, right? Like a streamer is just going to tell you the wind or something. I don't think it's going to tell us where to go. It's going to tell us which way we're moving. You don't think there's? I because I took it to mean there is a way forward in this game. You know, oh. since there are like bigger islands, you'll get to eventually. That seems tricky. Chat's pointing out that the shark will eat the hell out of that if you put it right on the. Well, end. I got a spear now, and I'm not afraid of the shark. See? Oh, this is our natural. Form of shark bait. I'm not afraid of you. I scared it off. <laughs> nice man. Oh. oh, this island. Oh, this is gonna be. Sweet. Oh yeah, eat that chat. <laughs> chat. <laughs> My the enemy of the streamer. <laughs> you don't control us, chat. We just respond to your subs, and that's it. <laughs> well, it is the opposite way we're going. It probably is just wind direction, but if we follow the wind, we'll go real fast, and we'll probably end up somewhere, wouldn't you think? Yeah. Sure. I'm just, you know, I, I don't know what this game's capable of. I don't know if it can remember where we've been, or if it's just kind of a fog of war, and then everything outside of that is up for grabs and regenerating. Good question. Good, fair question. If there are any experts in the chat, speak now or forever watch us go in circles. <laughs> yeah, for real. I will eat that cooked herring, thank you. Oh, we're cruising now. Wait, you're what? leaving what? the island behind? We were not getting any closer to it. Oh, really? Yeah, because the wind was going so far in the opposite direction. And I didn't want to post up here all night waiting for the wind to change. Or paddling this giant ass boat. But maybe I should have included you in that discussion <laughs> I had in my mind. Right. It's not hard to get a read of the room. There's not too many of us here. <laughs> I'd appreciate it, you know? Yeah, not good to know. For next I, time. I think I accidentally keep drinking seawater, which... Yeah, that's a no-no. But I don't think it's recommended. Boo! Yes. 
Shark. Leo! Oh, he was just... Okay, he's just testing us. He's seeing if we're scared of him. <laughs> we are. <laughs> this guy's uh, 2021's Mr. X, if you ask me. That's true. I'll wait for anybody to ask me, because I have an answer for him. Ask you what? Who was 2020's Mr. X? Yeah, uh, Leo, it's... um. It's the shark. Right. Hang on, I'm gonna go try and drown myself again. <laughs> <laughs> that was conversation. Oh, I planted a beat. Nice. Like a DJ in one of their hit songs. <laughs> Do you find yourself, speaking of beats, liking The Office less with every meme you see of the office or are you like a healthy person emotionally and it doesn't bother you no i i feel that for sure like i was um this last weekend i went out to my parents place because they're out of town so it was a very cool relaxing weekend and i read got through two books it was great but um i was flipping through their tv and i kept seeing the office on there and i didn't want to click on it and it was really driving me nuts i'm like why like it's a funny show and it was just like this weird contrarian thing of like eh I'm not going to be a guy who watches The Office. Exactly. When it's not reasonable to have that opinion. And like The British Office, I don't know if it still is, but for a while it was like my favorite show of all time. And I'm not anti-American Office, but still like I should be tailor-made for that thing. And but still... you are anti-American. <laughs> That's right. Oh, man. But I'm very pro whatever nation that island is up there because that is the most habitable island I've ever seen in my life. Right? I'm starting to feel like I made a really smart decision as the leader here. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess so, man. You know what? At this point, dictator on, as I like to say. <laughs> Just make the shots. Oh, you got it. God, there's so much trash over here too, sir. Our favorite. Oh, look Holy at us casting together. Heave ho. Oh my gosh. <sighs> And so we can eventually like build on the island, right? I mean, we could theoretically just live there forever. Theoretically, I think we want to hold out for a bigger island. It's yeah. Probably the choice. It's exciting to think about which island we can make our home. That, see, this is like the good, good Minecraft and elements, right? Of just like, ah, this area is cool, but should we keep exploring and find something better? That's, that's the good stuff from gaming over the last 10 years. Yes. That's what gaming has given us. That's right. Um, do you think you have, like, was Minecraft the first game where you could genuinely get lost? I'm not talking about like in a maze or lost woods or some crap like that, but like genuinely like, I don't know if I can find my way back home. Hmm. Because its worlds were so big and so procedurally generated. Yeah, and like if you didn't have a map, I just don't have situations in Minecraft where it's like, well, maybe I can find my way back here, maybe not. I have no idea. Hmm. A, a new Possibly. For a game. I can't think of another one. Unless you're really dumb, you could get lost in any of them. Hmm. That is certainly the case. Um, my chat went by too quickly. Who who just subbed, Leo? That was my dog hates me. Oh, oh. So, did you just ram us into this? Did yes, that was my plan, because now we have a sail to kind of push us against it. Interesting. We don't need the anchor so much, just because you don't seem to get it back. It's like a one-use thing, so it's kind of a pain to craft it. Oh, that is really weird. I wonder what these flowers are for. I've gotten a lot of them. Yeah, maybe it's just to like, maybe it's a cosmetic thing. Yeah, for dying things. Oh, interesting. I was just thinking of like literally like a flower pot um, on the raft and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm full on things. Mm, yeah, what do we do with all these things? Should we just make more uh, more containers? Yep, make another container would be good. I'm sure going to eat one of these cocoa nuts. Consider it and eat it. Hmm. Rich McLaughlin gifting subs. Thank you. Thank you, Rich. Thank you, Rich. Developer of Oppo Switch. Available.
available on Xbox. He was a supporter of the podcast for a while there for that plug. Yeah. Hey, do you want this watermelon? <sighs> oh my gosh. More than you could possibly imagine, especially it if it's in a cute little box. Thank you. Thank you. Anytime, pal. Oh, smart. It also replenishes your water. Could yeah. I think that's what it mostly does. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay. Did you build another storage thing? Um, no, Leo. I'm kind of busy. I'm just struggling with basic concepts of this game still. Yeah, right, take I'm your time, man. Go ahead and, uh, I'm just going to make our raft a little bit bigger. That seems like a pretty easy thing that I'm feeling confident enough in. Recently, too. It's been uh, bugging me. We're just, it'll disconnect just for a brief period. Yeah, and clearly it's not an internet issue because it's you and me are fine. Right, right. I think we're back up. Great. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Wow, that was just another little scare. <laughs> the shark took down the modem, I believe, is what happened there. Yeah, all part of the adventure. By the way, um, we. Should build another storage thing right away. Yes. And the recipe is like a thing that you need to have, <laughs> I believe. Because you take it out and you point and you're holding it up. It's a potato and beets. And you like oh. point it at a soup pot probably. So. So what's, okay, so that's not the research thing. The research is for like blueprints and stuff. You researched it and you got that little item. Oh, okay. So that's step one. Okay. Got Let's it. Got see. it. Um, you got any uh, plastic on you? Uh, no. Yeah, actually, I do. Psych. Got you. Do you got any um <laughs> anti-shark sticks on you? Because this SOB is really going at it. Get off of here! Whoop. And let's go ahead and keep expanding. Oh no! Oh god, it drives me nuts when it's not a nice, smooth, even surface there. Can I say our goal this episode should be to kill that shark? Yeah. I love that idea. I'm tired of the way it's treating us. It doesn't respect our raft, I'll tell you that much. Right. And it's like, build your own, bud. Oh wait. You die. That's not realistic to ask of you. Uh, yes. What is our best way of doing that? I know there's shark bait. Shark bait would help. I assume there's some next level of crafting stuff we need to get. If I've ever played a video game before, that's my understanding. Okay. Need to okay. get a, you know, we can craft a spear now. We need to be able to craft a gun. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if you can take it out with spears. Sometimes I don't even do enough damage to scare it off the raft. Hmm. Maybe that's just kind of like your muscle power, though. Chirby J says, have you considered befriending the shark? Now that's interesting. I've never really tried talking to it other than just screaming, go away, go away. Right. And it's probably just, you know, trying to show we're not the boss of it. Yeah, every, every creature's territorial in their own way. Man, we need to get a bigger crop plot, too, because we can't plant any of these seeds in our small one. Great. That's something we should absolutely do. Well, let's do it, pal. I'm going to set sail. Please. Thanks, Island. This was fun. I liked it. I liked spending yeah. time here. It was the most pleasant one. We'll be back later, accidentally. We'll see ya. Yeah. We're going to do a big circle, okay? <laughs> Vine goo is a material in this game. How odd. Vine goo. Should we organize what goes in which storage here? Yes, I have the new one for seeds right now. Mm. That we can't I use, but we'll save. 
I see then. Um, okay, well, let me move these other ones in there. Ding, 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 ding. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Bing, bing, bing. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> All right. Back to the old drawing board. The open ocean. Wind in our hair. <laughs> sea at our back. When you're right, you're right. Do you have any logic for choosing the direction? Are you feeling confident? I'm just following the flag. Gosh, I don't know how I feel about that. Well, what's our alternative? Just like choose east or something and then keep east. Okay, which way's east, smart guy? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, let me stare directly at the sun to prove I'm smart. Um, which way is that giant guy <laughs> moving? What time right, is it? Okay, look, I guess you're right. <laughs> you got this round, dude. You're right. I guess we will go fastest if we just stay on this path. Thank and you. That's all we're looking for is getting a whole need for speed going here. Arriving somewhere quickly. Mm hmm. Wherever it is. Hmm. Okay, so these weapons. We need to find new recipes. Best place to find recipes are, or blueprints. Probably islands or rafts, yes? Seems to be the case, yes. Okay, so no matter what, we should divert. If we're looking for this <laughs> atomic bomb to drop on the shark. Which we are. Look for rafts. Look for rafts Nancy, for now. Nancy Clark wants us to work on the second floor, which would be very cool. That would be cool. Gosh, I hate how that shark is a is a boon. Is a, they're going to come after whatever we make? He's gonna start eating the second floor first. Yeah, he's gonna do a jump attack. <laughs> We've played man eater. Oh, look at this bounty coming up, dude. We're gonna be loaded. Oh hell yeah! Oh, Not now I'm trying to fish shark. The shark is does have scars on him. Ooh. Is that from last week? I think it's from the jabbing I've been doing today. That's cool. I wonder if he had those before. <laughs> Interesting. He was born scarred. Like Scar. I appreciate that Rich McLaughlin and I'm a biggie boy made the sharks with freaking laser beams on their heads joke at the exact same moment. <laughs> <laughs> do you think in you know they're making lion king 2 for like the live action weird realistic lion king yeah they are absolutely going to show how scar got his scar in that right because it's like a prequel about mufasa well wait, so that movie already exists though right well there's lion king 2 simba's pride right right there's, there's lion king 1.5 yep which is legitimately pretty okay okay um but i don't think there's been a prequel lion king that's canonical do you know different no good <laughs> but you're saying it's a lion king 2 that's not lion king 2 simba's pride they're making lion king 2 and it seems like what they're doing with it is making godfather part 2 where they're gonna go back and it's gonna be a split thing where they're gonna tell stories from the past as well as probably move it into the future. <laughs> okay. Something like that. So the question is, will they show how Scar gets his Scar? Yeah. And is he going to have a different name before Scar? Or do you think he's gonna like come out of the womb and get like the Scar as he's coming out of the womb or something? Yeah, he was born with a Scar. God, that'd be lame, wouldn't it? There's... N it's already lame. <laughs> I guess they couldn't true. make that thing lame. And it's already lame and it's by nature of its very existence. Yeah, I feel like a terrible Disney fan because I have not seen that live-action remake of Lion King, which seems nuts because it's like one of my favorite movies as a kid. I, I was tailor-made for that crap. Yeah, I guess. It's still like the most successful animated movie of all time. The, wait, 
The remake? Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, no. that thing that had no impact on our culture. Yeah. <laughs> no one's ever talked about? Yep. Are you serious? No, it's not. I swear to God. I swear to God I've read that. I don't know if it's still the case. Wow. I mean, compared to like Frozen and like, that seems nuts. But all right. Yeah, man. They're doing good business. Jesus. Bob Buell says his name's going to be Scartholomew. <laughs> 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 oh no! Scartholomew's being attacked by a hyena. Now we'll have to change his name. Yeah, that gives me an idea. <laughs> It'd be cool if Mufasa like gave him that scar as a kid, like they're roughhousing. And that's like another reason that he's bitter about him, because he's like literally changed the way he looks. He was Everything. the hottest lion. Everybody wanted him. Nala wanted him. Um, Sarabi wanted him. All the other female lions of Lion King. Yeah. Oh, this island's looking good. We are really cruising. Highest grossing animated film of all time. Uh-oh. We got trouble? I lost you for a second, but you're back. Okay, thank God. I was screaming about how successful that bad Lion King was. <laughs> yes, I also have a friend who would take issue with you calling it a uh, live action Lion King. I know, I understand that. I'm also that friend. But, <laughs> like, it is just to call it the Lion King remake, I guess, is more accurate. D make. Yeah. <laughs> Frickin' way forward made it by the looks of it. Christ. <laughs> Christ. Christ. Uh. Oh man, ramming speed! <laughs> That's, I don't know any alternative. <laughs> well, you've never piloted a real boat, have you? I have. Oh good, and this is your strategy? It's just when you want to stop, you just ram into something but leave the motor running at full speed? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's interesting, you do, you know, slow down as you approach, but then you gotta Put it at maximum speed to get it up on the beach. Mmm. Interesting. So you beached a boat? But yeah, you know, you you run it up on the beach, somebody else goes out with the anchor, pushes it in deep. Down on the beach. Down on the beach. Yeah, this is I'm not used to that cool hippie lifestyle. We use um we use docks where I come from, Leo. <laughs> yeah, my grandpa had a boat on the St. Croix. Oh, river boating. Yeah, and so we would, yeah, go along, find a nice spot, had a few favorites, and you'd just post up. Oh my god, yeah, that sounds super fun. It was the best. I miss it's it too. It's wild that I've lived in Minneapolis for a million years. Um, 16 years? Is that 16 right? million years. I moved here in 2005. The point is, I've never been out on the Mississippi. I've never swam in the Mississippi, I've never been on a boat in the Mississippi. It's like, it is our number one river it is the thing the lifeblood of the entire city never been out there it's driving me nuts wow what are you waiting for i guess spring realistically if i had to pick something yeah when was last time you were on the mississippi the big muddy like on it on it on it on the water on the waterfront <sighs> long time ago years just swimming a few feet into it you know with yeah. friends, but it's not a great idea. It's a very fast-moving river. Yeah, it's kind of gross and stuff, too. Yes! Well, actually, technically, I've walked in Itasca, uh, Itasca where the river starts. I've walked across the water there, so that kind of counts as being in the Mississippi. Your grime has floated down through many states. That's right, down to Wade Wojcik in New Orleans. That's right, and that's something to be proud of. <laughs> Um, are you, uh, you steering this vessel, Captain? I am just harvesting this island for its resources. Ah. And then we'll be on our sweet little way. Great. Thank you for talking to me like I'm a child. <laughs> I need that sometimes, you know? Don't oh, we all? Well, mm. are we going to keep following the streamer, or are you going to kill me <laughs> and take over this raft? Uh, I think for now, yeah, let's keep falling on our nose. Okay. But uh, don't sleep with both eyes closed. <laughs> okay. 
Can you make me a fishing pole, Dad? Of course, man. Do you have a bunch of ropes? Never mind. I do. <laughs> I have surprisingly little. Um, there you go. Fresh one for you. Oh, great. Thank you. <gasps> barrel, 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 barrel. So anytime your hunger or thirst goes below that little notch, that's when you start crawling around? Yes. Speed? Okay. Yeah, I've been trying not to let it get to that point. Thank you. That's why you're so much more efficient. Ooh, we planted a beet and we got back two. <laughs> Perfect. What's up? And that bird didn't even get to take it. That's right. And you know what? I'm going to plant both those beets. And what would that sound like, Leo? Plant. Uh, the sound of a, of a shovel going into fresh dirt. Yeah, I sampled that. <laughs> oh, I love munching on these fresh mackerel. Mmm. Yeah. Uh... I ate a fish and I think it hurt me. Was it raw? Maybe. Why? <laughs> Is that recommended? It's not something I would do. Okay. Uh, I feel like Tom Hanks and Castaway would do it. That guy's a maniac. Yeah, why was he acting so weird in that movie? I know, I know. It's like he forgot his lines for a big part of it. He wasn't talking. Yeah, just say line, dude. I know. He was like he was too proud as like America's favorite actor. He couldn't just admit that he didn't know what he was supposed to be saying. It's embarrassing, really. It's probably why he didn't get the Oscar. Oh! Mm -hmm. Do you see what I see on yonder hill? Is it a mackerel? What is it? It's a big old raft. Oh my god. Oh, we should just take that one, dude. I know, I want to. Speaking of which, should we start working on the second floor? Um, yes, we should. Um, I'm just trying not to die real quick. How are you doing on the survival thing? You feel like you got that system down pretty well? I think I might. My hunger and thirst are both nearly full right now. You Get the hell out of here! I'm worried this is a different shark. <laughs> it doesn't look as messed up. Oh, really? Well, we're in new waters. We're in like the Indian Ocean now or something. Right, that's a good point. Feels like it. This ocean's big enough. Oh, please. Please let me get that barrel. Nice. Yeah. Catch. Thanks, oh, baby. That be loaded. Did you call me babe? Baby. Oh. Okay. It's a completely different tone. Calling somebody baby versus babe. Yeah. Babe intimate. Babe is intimate. Baby is could be your a uh, new acquaintance or your very best friend. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Could be a lover, could be the president of the United States. <laughs> That's the magic of baby. <laughs> That's the magic of baby. <laughs> I'm going for it. I can't wait anymore. I'm going for it. Oh, that shark. Oh my god. That was a big bite. <laughs> He was not messing around. Oh, it's already sinking. Oh my god. Huh? Leo. Oh. Leo. Got it. Nice. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. I got a recipe for fish stew. Um. <laughs> not the reaction oh. I was hoping for. Uh, what did you say? I'm sorry. I got a recipe for fish stew. I think I might have oh, been too full though. Perfect. Wait. Are there boxes around? Stuff I might have dropped? Uh, no, I, I grabbed something. Is it possibly a recipe for fish stew? <laughs> oh, brother, that's what I like to hear. You know what I like to hear? The sound of our new captain. You? No. It is, of course, this little duck out on the pier. Oh. <laughs> Cute! Found him in the ocean. I love him. I hope well, the shark doesn't eat him. No, no, no. The shark respects the line of duty. It's kind of like in war how you can't kill a, a general. Probably. <laughs> the shark could possibly take on our captain. Are there any weird war crimes against that? Or is it just game on? Like, whoever you see, you can shoot. 
I guess medics are off the limits, right? Right. Anybody else? Uh, no. And even if medics are uh, helping out a BLM protest, you can. They are on limits again. Jesus Interesting. Christ, Leo. <laughs> Just as a casual observer. Did you know that Lincoln was actually shot at? Um, well, I mean, once very efficiently. But like, um, <laughs> it wasn't an accident? Yeah, like there was actually shots fired in D.C. And it was, I think, the only time that a president's technically been in a war zone where like they were actually aiming for him. Wild to think that they were that close to killing that guy. Damn. But he outsmarted them. He got away and lived another six months. <laughs> <laughs> and what a six months they were. I'm going to get rid of all these flowers because they're just the description is can be made into color. And I don't think that's worth taking up the spots in my inventory right now. It doesn't really match the look and vibe we're going for with the raft anyway. We're going for boring as hell. <laughs> right. Something that's not boring though. Look at this damn island. Yeah. And I'm thirsty for that barrel on the left. I'm going to get it first. Okay, I'm going to fish next to it though. Oh, I fell in the water. <laughs> you fool. Yeah, I accidentally used the fishing rod instead of the hook earlier. Oh, oh, sorry. Did you want that? No, 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 no. It's fine. I want you to have it. Whatever's in it, it's yours now. Did you want those three planks and two palm leaves? Oh, you mean the cursed palm leaves of the Pacific? <laughs> what? <laughs> this island's looking sweet, dude. Oh, I pressed a button that made my FPS counter pop up. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Huh. These waves are crazy. Is this going to be a problem, sir? Well, we... Hopefully it doesn't carry the raft away. We're going to have to keep an eye on it. Okay. I'll keep a, a feet on it. Not. <laughs> Just a little comedy. Just a little comedy. It's as easy as that, folks. <laughs> Try it at home. Try comedy at home today. Yeah. Try it with their loved ones. Get the permission first. Biggie Boy suggests that the shark might just be disappointed in our decor and is trying to help renovate. Oh, he's trying to like carve it like a sculpture? Yeah. That's a real possibility. Um, okay. So, I need that plank, I need that rope. Shark, not now, buddy. You know what it was is my cats were sleeping on the desk and then their auto feeder started and they both scrambled off and one of my cats hit a button that made the FPS counter pop up and it could be any button. <laughs> I have no oh idea. My God. How, how strange. How strange that you live with a bunch of cats. Isn't that weird? It's really weird. It's just like letting animals walk around your house. It's well think of it like the Lion King live action in real life. Oh. Okay, I can kind of see that then. You mean like they're the it's a very profitable way to live your life? <laughs> yes. These things are making me money. <laughs> Ready to head out? Yeah. Yeah, I never headed in. Um what uh what percentage of people, or how many people total in the United States are making money off of their pet? Like mm. their, their pet is like a positive. They're monetizing it, like with an Instagram or something? Ooh, I guess that's the most realistic way to do it. Yeah, I was thinking like, you know, best in show stuff. <laughs> uh, 2%. Mm -hmm. One mm -hmm. in 50. If we're saying any amount of money, because a lot of people have Instagrams for their dogs. But who... Yeah, but posting cute pictures of your dog is one thing, but I mean, actually getting sponsors and stuff and it's like, oh, look at this cute little cuddly jacket it wears in the winter. Like, that's a huge step. I think one in 50 is nuts. So I guess I'm sorry. I don't mean what to about we should be talking about things that bring us together on this raft. OK, what's something that brings us together? You know, you can just pick things up out of the water, right? You don't need to use the hook if they're close. I, I've forgotten most things. Um, I, should, I should remember that. Thanks, Cap. No problem. Subordinate. <laughs> uh, oh, get out of here! Oh my god, we're swimming in beats. 
That sounds like me with my waterproof Beats headphones. <laughs> Speaking of product placement, <laughs> I think that worked really well, dude. Thanks. Oh, I beat you to pour the salt water in. Dang it. Now I'm eating a whole watermelon. You're good at it, dude. You're good at everything. You gotta give me at least pouring water slowly. <laughs> Leo, do you think you could um, start an OnlyFans account and it would go well? <laughs> now what's go well? In that scenario, just money-wise? Um... Yeah, I guess so. Would you make over seventy dollars a month or a week with an OnlyFans account? I don't know. What, what is an OnlyFans account? Is it nudities allowed, or is it just like I'm going to show you my butt crack? Nudities allowed. Is like sex stuff not, allowed? Not mandatory. Sex stuff's allowed. So it's just full game on. <laughs> it's full game on. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I have had maybe four comments saying I was cute since I blew up on YouTube. Are you kidding me? I know. That's pretty good. I think it's implied. Everybody else just doesn't want to be redundant with the comments, but they're all thinking it too. Right. That's pretty... I remember there was... Um, maybe they still listen to our podcast. Remember there, back on Game Informer, there was a fan that was red hot over you, Leo. Like, I ran into him at a convention, and he's like, Leo is... <laughs> The sexiest human being I've ever seen on planet Earth. <laughs> like, All right, I'll convey the message, sir. So you'd have one customer, I think. Okay. Yeah, you never know. If those people are waiting to crawl out of the woodwork. At least, <laughs> but I do like you being really targeted and like responding to any comment that calls you cute on YouTube with just a link to your OnlyFans. Like, yeah, prove it. <laughs> you know, cute, I really am. Look at my butt cheeks. Yeah. Want to see a part of me that's cute? <laughs> Somehow your subscriber rate is dropping. I've been plummeting through the floorboards. He found the exact opposite of what the YouTube algorithm wants, and it's harassing commenters about your OnlyFans. <laughs> oh, that hurt. That barrel glancing blow off the tip of my hook. But Kissed it. I'll get it. Don't worry. Yeah! And it's not because I don't believe you in you, I just want to make sure we get it. Nice work, man. Look at that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, this freaking shark's back and he's eating the streamer like everyone said he would! <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> well, our streamer's gone. Well, that means the captain's next. <laughs> we can't stand for this. Oh, the captain's shield. <laughs> I love it. Well, now it's. Much more phallic, Leo. I don't, I don't know what you're doing to this round. <laughs> I know. This is why we didn't want to do this, but... Yeah. There we Are go. We capable of making any other shape. Well, now... <laughs> this, we built such a zone over here, it's now kind of a side view. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Or maybe it's not so much, like, genitalia. It's, the, it's that sweet Star Wars ship that's in A New Hope. You know, the one that kind of looks like a gun? Help me out, Star Wars nerds. The, in the Y chat. wing? No, not a freaking Y wing. It's oh, like X wing. Big. No, 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 no. <laughs> like the big um, rebellion ship. It's it's the coolest ship. Okay. You don't you don't know what I'm talking about? Maybe it's a, just in Return of the Jedi. But it's a big ship that looks like a gun. Uh, I mean, that know. sounds like the coolest ship I could imagine. <laughs> it's really cool, man. <laughs> Get him off Did the grubs! Did you have any, like, Star Wars visual dictionaries or anything growing up? You know what I had was a little Luke Skywalker, less than an inch tall, and he had... His feet were spread out, and he had his gun, and his feet, you know, they're spread out and they're on a base, because it's a little figurine. I don't know what game it was from. I feel like I got it at, like, a thrift store just by itself. His, his legs were spread? What is this? Well, you know, he was just doing a pose where his legs were apart and they were on a base together. And the base looked like oh. a skateboard is my point to me as a child because his legs are spread out on it. And so I would run him around and have him skateboard around our house. Oh, that's a really funny idea. So it's like, yeah, like an old army man, except no, 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 except with that song. Exactly. That's fun. So then when you saw the movie, you're like, this guy's lame as hell. He has to get <laughs> in a chip to move? Yeah, I said, why is all the skateboarding off screen? 
<laughs> between films. And then you've kept that alive where most films you see, you ask, why is all the skateboarding off screen? Yeah. No good answers. Mm -hmm. I like to think about all the movies that are technically existing in the same universe. Like, I think that'd be a good marketing ploy is just, hey, um, all of Fox Searchlight films, unless explicitly stated, um, exist in the same universe. Wouldn't that be cool? You know who would... That, that it doesn't? You know who that would really work for is A24. Mm, I think people no. would get really, I mean, pardon my French, horned up for that. What is A24? A24, the production house that does all the good movies. If a movie's good, they did it. Really? Name some good movies you've seen the last few years. Uh, Avengers Endgame? Ah, sorry. I guess not. Oh, but, you know, it whenever it's like, oh, here's a weird indie movie, it's A24. <laughs> It's really felt true the last couple of years. You know, The Vich, The Lighthouse. Oh, I don't instance. like three films. So I don't think I've seen good films for the last five years is what that means. <laughs> Minari. Hmm. Minari? Midsummer, another scary one. Yeah, you don't see, know Minari? Yeah, I've, I know I've dodged all of these. How? Wow. I think I'm a fake ass film fan, man. I guess. Save big money on Minari. Thanks, Chris Koken, for the sub. And for the comedy. Oh, and for and supporting independent comedy. <laughs> it's very independent. It's cutting edge. This is the A24 of comedy. Oh, barrels as far as the eye can see. I'm loving it. Ooh, I see something else over yonder. You see that? Hang on, I'm too busy trying to claw my way to one plank of wood um oh god that looks like a freaking continent it does i thought it was <clears throat> bad to be incontinent but we should go over there and be it i don't know there's something there's something with that <laughs> i don't know if anybody wants to workshop that one in the chat yeah no that's funny Okay. It's like all this, all this, everybody's these days is always like, oh, it's bad to be incontinent. And I say, you should have told me earlier because I've been living in the continent my whole life. <laughs> North America. <laughs> I knew the shark was going to get me for that one. Oh, Meaning I've dug a hole into North America and I've been living in it. <laughs> I'm gonna cook a potato, and I think the game's gonna say, "Wow, you're you're smart enough." We're gonna tell you how to do other things now. Okay. Now that you've cooked a potato. Also, I, I should have really planted it. Eating that potato. I definitely should have planted that potato. Can I plant a coconut tree in here? No. <laughs> Can I plant a larger, better raft? Wild Samurai has nailed it with a piece of games criticism that I've never felt more attached to. Wild Samurai in the Twitch chat says, fishing games never capture the icky feeling of piercing a worm's flesh. <laughs> True words have never been spoken, Wild Samurai. It truly is gross. That's a great point. Do you like fishing? No. Uh, I like, I would like to sit on a boat in the yeah. early hours. I've done that before and I enjoy that, but. Yes, yes. Catching a fish to gore it, I don't wanna do, and catching a fish to throw it back, that seems even dumber. Because like 30% of the time, when you're trying to take the hook out of the mouth, you're hurting the hell out of this thing with the hooks through the eye. It's like, it's never as clean as I'm looking for. I'm looking for like just laser tag with fish you know like deer hunting with laser right. tag except i want that equivalent with fish one time me and my friends circle back to the mississippi conversation we yeah. were hanging out on the beach all night intending to camp out but just end up staying up all night and we were trying to we had like this little cage that fish would come and get caught in. we just needed bait and they're like okay Ooh. leo you kill the crickets and i had a cricket on a rock and I snuck up on it and I bashed its head with a rock and just exploded its head and I felt horrible. It was one cricket? It was one cricket. But it was such a gross way to do it. It's not like slapping a mosquito, you know? It's like, 
demolishing. It really, I really had to confront that I demolished this living being's skull. Oh, do you, um, but you slap mosquitoes. I do, and I, but I'll be honest, there's a little guilt in there. Hmm, um, where do you stand on spiders? Spiders live and let live. I toss them outside. Toss them outside, even when it's a polar vortex outside? I guess that kills them, huh? Well, I don't really have many spiders during the winter. Yeah, I guess that's true. Or at my new place versus my old one. They were kind of a constant thing. But I think, honestly, my cats deal with them without me a lot of times. Oh, interesting. So they do pay for themselves. Exactly. In spider sales. <laughs> uh, why does it want me to place a thing? Raffles Waffles says, remember back in the first episode when you were dying to get your thirst and hunger bars back up? You've come so far. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like, yeah. I'd love to see some people. Uh, uh, Min Max. Two ends. Um, this game. I bet they could just fly through all these early stages. It'd be really fun to see. The For sure. There. For sure. I was, really, I was really disappointed the other day uh, where my girlfriend and I have gotten really into playing Codenames Duet. Um, during the pandemic, which is a great, great game for two people. Um, and then I thought, oh, it'd be so fun. I bet there's some awesome Codenames National Championships on YouTube. Nothing. There's nothing like that. It's such a bummer. Like, I thought there was going to be, like, an all-star league for Codenames. Wouldn't that be fun to watch? That would be awesome. I think it's up to us to make it, man. It's just about eSports ready. Don't care what the holdup is. It would be fun just to have like a big bracket system though and actually have teams. Hang on. Hang on, remind me to write this down for a min-max idea to form the official Codenames League. That would be cool. Like we're not competing in it? Unless yeah. we're actually the best? Right, yeah. I guess we could have a team in there and not cheat if that's what you're into. Silence sucks, I'm coming back. What's wrong with it? Tell me about it. There's barely nothing on it. I can tell on these islands there's some kind of like rock growths that I think we need a pickaxe for. Mm. But don't have one yet. Oh, and you keep getting further. Yeah. Even um, though the sail is going towards the island, the wind yeah. is so strong the opposite way. That's really odd. Three, two, one, no sharks. Out, dude. Oops. Oh, I didn't get bit once. Nice. nice. Sorry, haters. Sorry, okay. haters who are watching praying I got bit there. Oh, the shot. Stupid thing. I can't oh. even hear it because our ship's so big. I can't hear him from the other side. God. Yeah, that's a problem. I'm going to start destroying this raft one piece at a time because I just don't know what else to do. <laughs> Build that second floor. This is a perfect place for stairs. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Building. 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 Um, where was the fancy build options thing again? It's right mouse, but I got it. What do you think the best place for stairs is? Oh, you have nails? Yeah, you can craft them. Oh. Okay. I want to do it on the end, and then we'll just have to build out the sides more, so it's not sure. in danger. I shall do And that. then it won't be on the end anymore. We didn't think mm -hmm. that through, did I? Very smart. Okay. Gosh, these waves are no joke. My feet are getting soaked. Yeah. Um, all right, that's decently safe, right? Or should we add another layer of protection? Raised floor is what we need. I think it's decently safe. Um, we just need to put, do we stack raised floors or how do we make a second floor? Hmm. Do we have walls that hold it up? Rough. We do have walls. Should we try putting walls here? Let's try it. Anyway, here's wooden wall. There we go, baby. Oh, God. Wow, look at that. That's really cool. Ooh, this shark is gonna be so jealous. Yeah, I wish I had legs. Oh. Oh. <laughs> making fun of me in my existence. Okay, so, all right. Yeah, as long as it's always one layer shark proof. Right, you just gotta keep an eye on that. Uh, put poles, then the floor, says MML. Oh, poles probably would have been easier, but I but like ha I like having it doubled as a little shelter now. 
Yeah, this is nice. So if the wind's ever too strong, we can just go hide someplace and sleep together and all that cute stuff. Oh my God, you're right. That's where we put the bed. Mm-hmm. One step ahead of ya. I'm putting it a little uh, askew for realism. Uh, it's okay. You know, it's not exactly oh, okay. per parallel. Perpendicular. Yeah, parallel. Yeah. We're not worried about mathematical angles here. Oh my God, speaking of which, look at this island. Big old Rocky. Whoa, big Rocky. Get it, Leo, get it. <laughs> he looks so excited. I want to go there. It looks like just Mars the island, but still. Sometimes that's what you want. Oh, Groffle says you need bunk beds. That way you'll have so much more room for activities. <laughs> Smart. That's cute. I want to say God. Step Brothers reference. Somehow I've never seen Step Brothers either. I really it's have the list. Live action Lion King of Will Ferrell John C. Riley movies. <laughs> What's number one on your list for embarrassing film that you've never seen? Um, I've never seen The Godfather all the way through. Ooh, that's good. I just recently watched Godfather Part Two, uh, but it's nice to cross those off the list. They're better than you think if you were to sit down and really give it your all. You know, I tried to watch it in high school and stopped halfway through. And I bet, yeah, I would have more of an appreciation now that I'm yeah. smart. Yep, that's a mistake, is trying to pay attention to anything in high school. Yeah. I'm checking out the island. Um, on the Blank Check podcast, which I've become way too obsessed with, <clears throat> Griffin uh, was talking about his high school experience and how frustrating it was because his teacher would yell at him for being wishy-washy in his essays because every sentence would start with, I think, or it might be the case. Um, and the teacher's like, you need to be declarative in your essays. You need to be confident and make an argument. And he made the good argument of just saying, like, what? I'm in high school. Why would I have anything confident to argue about uh, Romeo and Juliet? Like, how could I possibly add to that conversation? <laughs> <laughs> Which is a smart take. And he should have gotten an A for that, I think. I agree. Let's start a petition. Do you think a petition has ever worked? Hmm. I feel uh, like things have happened that petitions wanted, but I don't think it was a cause effect. I mean, there probably was a petition for like the Snyder Cut or something, right? That's exactly my point. But it was like people be being vocal about it in other ways. A petition, you know, I feel like that's just such a small part of a movement. Right. Um... Which is yeah. what the Snyder Cut was. It was a cultural movement. Let's call it what it is. A, a sensation. I, yeah, I couldn't talk to my parents without them screaming about release the Snyder Cut. You're in <laughs> entertainment. Can you do something about that Snyder Cut? <laughs> I just want to see what Snyder was doing. I just want the Justice is Gray edition. <laughs> see that hot shot of the new Joker for Snyder Cut? No. Uh, apparently they redesigned Jared Leto's Joker, but I don't know how they're doing this. Like they film new scenes with them. I mean, I saw Justice League and if you put a gun to my head and asked me if the Joker was in that, I would not be able to tell you. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't remember hearing about that. And I would have heard about it on my Joker subreddits. <laughs> what is going on in the Joker subreddit do you think these days? Oh God. Why don't they make more Joker stuff? <laughs> <laughs> We're Joker star in here. <laughs> There is nothing around here, dude. I know. Where's I'm the garb? Of, I'm out of fishing rods. You can have mine if you promise to keep fishing. I haven't been fishing. Okay, yeah. That's really all I can do. Thank you. No problem. It's all I can do because I'm dumb. It's just, just to be clear. Oh. Yeah. Dumb guy. Yep. Over that's here. I, I like my fishing. Do you have any potatoes? Uh, nope. Okay. But ask me again after I've been fishing for a while. I can't believe we're all done with our second floor. <laughs> yeah, this place is basically the Taj Mahal at this point. Yeah. Gosh, are we really just like held back by not finding more recipes? 
I guess so. Uh, if there's any experts in the chat, uh, let us know what's holding us back. And don't say me. Please, we have feelings. <laughs> <laughs> but also feel free to Google. I'm gonna make a calendar so we can keep track of how many days we've survived. Yeah. Seven. Did you ever watch like prison movies and think it'd be, oh God, really fun to, to mark, like scratch on the wall for how long you've been somewhere? When yeah. That, be to that would almost make up for being stuck somewhere for that long. <laughs> oh crap. I guess we could do that in the real world, but I don't know. It just seems like a hassle. Mm -hmm. Carving on something every day. Oh no! <laughs> What's going on? I perfectly caught a piece of plastic and then I fell in the water and a shark... I landed in a shark's mouth. <laughs> My grandma went that way, it's okay. <laughs> Ooh, New Island! Right? Yes, sir! The treasure island, I hear. It better be. Oh, so uh, this last weekend, I was at my parents' place, as I've already bored you with that conversation. Brag. But, um, yeah, uh, my sister and my nephews are going there this weekend. And so the highlight of my weekend, and maybe life, was we wrote a scavenger hunt and hid like clues around the house. Um, For your parents? Uh, no, for my nephews. Ah. Um, and then at the end, I hid the N64 with Pokemon Stadium, which is their favorite game. <laughs> so they have to go through this elaborate process to find it. But if you've never tried to write a scavenger hunt, I highly recommend it. It's very fun because it's like the best parts of hide and go seek about trying to be creative and find like cool places. But combining hide and go seek with like, well, this is a cool hiding spot, but I don't know how creative I can be with the clue. So it's like an extra layer on hide and go seek. Yeah. Like a literary layer. It's really fun. How much of an influence would you say you had on Pokemon Stadium being their favorite game? Um, probably a pretty big one because I bought my nephew. Um, God, why am I overflowing here? Um, one of those Pokemon books. Uh, that's like listing every Pokemon or whatever crap like that. You know. Yeah. Uh, so that is what melted his brain and made him obsessed with Pokemon to an unhealthy degree. So. Yeah, that kind of grew out of that. So I guess a, a fair amount. Do you think modern Pokemon games aren't scratching that itch? Um, oh, well, he doesn't know that modern Pokemon games really exist. So, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a very specific situation where Keep he played way. Pokemon um, Let's Go Pikachu at my place. Um, and he seemed very into that. And that's like the most he's been aware of real Pokemon games. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, we don't, look, it's not my kid. I don't need to talk about this this much. <laughs> I, swear, I swear he's not my kid. A little I don't defensive. Know what, like, that rumor rolling. If I can smoothly change topic. Yes, sir. Do you think AAA games, or at least the big publishers, have taken a lesson or will take a lesson from the fact that a game with like this, with not AAA animations, with this being the axe hitting animation, can have such great sales and overwhelmingly positive reviews. Mm, Do you think they the the, focus on the important stuff? The yeah. The, that a game can still be fun and worthwhile without looking like the best game that you've ever seen. Yeah, I think that's really tough in the AAA space. You know, you think about like kind of like the budget examples of that even something like immortals like i think some of those animations are a little bit rough and like in cutscenes and stuff and they're still getting dinged for it so like how do you message that or i guess kind of like um grow home i guess is kind of an example of that i'm trying to think of just like the companies that have successfully messaged like we're not trying here <laughs> <laughs> yeah a message i don't know how you do it we meant to do it like this <laughs> it's artistic and we're just cheap but you know gameplay first right everybody you're welcome yeah that's a good point and i wonder if uh they're more likely to get dinged by an outlet than by uh you know your steam reviews right yeah i trust steam reviews quite a bit i, do I guess too. Not 
And it's like uh, they put a woman in the game, so it's mostly negative or whatever. But maybe I trust them, yeah, yeah, because they have that meter of like, was this a sudden influx of bad reviews? And then you can look up why, and then you can find out it's because they mentioned that. Yeah, that certain people point. exist. That I don't want to mention here, or else we'll get negative reviews. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because this uh, Neutral Plus is on Steam. Right. The way it should be. Goodbye, wonderful island. We loved you. I was in love with you. <laughs> How many people have you told that you love them, Leo? Um, including family members. Including family members? I'm gonna ballpark. With friends. I tell my friends I love them a lot. Yeah. So I would ballpark like 25, 30. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's fair. If, if you have a, a newborn in your house and you're watching this, remember to ask them to keep track of how many people they've told that they love. That's a fun number. Yeah, I'm going to get them a little book for their birthday. <laughs> really freak them out. <laughs> to count them Pay in. attention to this magic word. It's like Beetlejuice. This You'll word is more important than Beetlejuice. You'll thank me. Yeah. How are we doing on progress here? I don't know if we've made any. We're sailing right towards the moon, but it's not getting any closer. Oh, what cursed life is this? That is a big moon. Is this Earth? That's a big moon. Well, moons are, it's confusing, but moons are bigger on the horizon because you're looking through layers of the atmosphere, which magnifies it. So maybe it's, it'll get huh. smaller as it moves up. Interesting. And it is moving. I'm holding my crosshair still. You can see that crosshair, that moon moves straight up, baby. 360, no scope for moon. Hell yeah. You know, isn't it weird that there was that um, Easter egg in, what was it, Majora's Mask? Ocarina of Time or GTA yeah. Vice City, one of those three where you shoot the moon and it gets bigger? I think that's vice city there is an ocarina if you shoot the sun that's how you get fire arrows which is a very fun idea right gotcha i feel like because of the vice city one i've shot at the moon in so many games over my life well what's the worst that can happen if you miss you end up amongst the stars right it's a great point man thanks <laughs> i like that thanks ny bronco for the sub love you ny bronco love you see there 26 <laughs> 2631 is now the range. <laughs> Keep this number rolling. Um, do we need more containers? Because I've got a lot of resources, but I feel like I'm not doing the best with them here. Can't hurt. Can't hurt. I'm like that raft is hurting from that god darn shark. God darn shark. God darn shark. Um, I, let's, we can craft shark bait. Let's, next time you craft a herring and a pompet, put them in storage or just hold on to them. And we'll make shark bait and then we'll kill this freaking guy. Okay, so wait, if I have a herring. Herring and a pompet, don't cook them. We need them for pompet shark bait. Pom fret. Oh, well, I assume pom, pom fret, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, I have a pom fret in my hand right now and it's really gross. Slimy? Yeah. Nice. Great start, agent. And I'm putting it in something? Um, you can craft it into shark bait if you want to see how to do that. Yeah. Um, oh. It's under tools. Yeah, I need a herring. Yeah, right. Leo, I need a herring to make that happen? <laughs> I think we're all caught up. <laughs> okay. Just want to make sure, is everybody on the same page in the chat? Are we all there together? Okay. Yeah, everybody say what we need. <laughs> it's a if you ever want to freak a streamer out like oh crap leo yeah i threw the fish in the ocean go get it <laughs> we're moving so freaking fast we like really are oh what a foolish mistake <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm overflowing. So every time I try and pick something up, I drop something. Oh, sure. Well, what's a guy to do, huh? Drop some stuff intentionally? Drop some stuff intentionally. Do I see it on the board? 
Or craft some stuff. I'm crafting a bunch of ropes because I have a ton of palm leaves. That's a great call, Leo. I'm gonna do that as well. Thanks, ma'am. Oh my gosh. I've never seen so many ropes in my life. Oh my gosh, ropes and nails, wet bricks. The world's my oyster and I'm gonna craft one. The world's an oyster, so craft it. <laughs> This storm is messing with my audio. It's taking on my rig. Wow. I know it's a bad one. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, should we expand anything here? So, did you make this flooring or is it just putting up the walls automatically made the flooring? I made the flooring. Okay. It's a separate thing from foundation. Ah, uh, gotcha. I have you now. Okay. I will make another fishing ball. Thank you very much. No. <laughs> I fall off the boat so much. I'm supposed to be the big strong leader of the group, but I always fall off the boat. Doesn't count if I don't see it, man. Plus, like, the rain's making us all soaked, so who can tell who's falling off the boat when? <laughs> That's a good point. Another big island coming up on the right. Ooh, that one looks very spooky. The water in this game is cool. It's, uh, it feels like I'm on a boat on rocky water, you know? Yeah. They should, uh, they should use the tech from Sea of Thieves and just make Microsoft's equivalent of Raft. I feel like that would do very well. They should make it a mode in Sea of Thieves. Isn't that the perfect solution? Make it a what? A mode. Oh, yeah, exactly, yeah. Survival mode. Have you played much Sea of Thieves? No! I've heard my friends have fun in it. And they like say, can I play? Room. And they say, no, we're almost done. And then they play for two more hours. <laughs> That's usually how it goes. Oh, I, it sounds fun, though. The, like, you know, the adventuring aspect. Going on treasure hunts together. That's a gamer's dream. Yeah, yeah, I really want to get into it. I think it'd be a good New Show Plus candidate at some point. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Oh, Plastic just missed ya. I miss you so much, Plastic. All right, what should we, uh, what should we go for here, Leo? Oh, look at, first off, look, before we do anything, look at that. Look at this, this little pillar here, keeping this open. We got the walls from the sea. Perfect mm. foregrid up top. The shark's coming, but I'm ready for him. <laughs> We're in the money, baby. We're in the money. Oh, the sun's coming up. The storm is over. This is poetic. Wow. How are you doing on those fish we need? Oh, crap. The fish. <laughs> um, I, I, uh, I've been distracted by looking at your beautiful work. I haven't really... That's understandable. I don't, I don't have the fish we need. If you could just get off my back, Captain, I'd appreciate it. All right, well, we're doing a vote later to see who gets kicked off. <laughs> well, I have a feeling it'll be a tie <laughs> vote, unless you got the cute robot duck. Please tell me you don't have the cute robot duck on your mm, side. I don't, but I could really, I think you underestimate my powers of persuasion when it comes to you <laughs> and who you'll vote for. <laughs> You could point to everything on the raft and just say, hey, Robot Duck, who made this? Who's <laughs> more valuable here? I'm swimming to the island. Oh, crap. Oh, that shark. Oh, that shark is just straight up hanging. You better keep jumping, dude. Relatable. Not the shark. I think this is the fastest way to swim. Oh, did he get you? No. Oh. Must have been another man swimming towards that. <laughs> Different screams. <laughs> oh, weird. I guess I'll steer us more towards that island. Save you a swim. Thanks, pal. Yeah, it's mostly a wind issue. I'm just trying to get in and get out. You know what I mean? I hear you, dude. Our raft looks so good now, it looks like one of those rafts we'd be excited to see. <laughs> We'd be excited about this raft if we stumbled across it. Right. It's a grass or greener situation. <laughs> oh, no. Yep. 
Oh! I'm fine. You'd think we'd be finding recipes at a faster rate, is why I feel like we're doing something wrong. Yeah. Well, we can look up a guide before the next episode of Raptatui, I suppose. Which is a guarantee. <laughs> I mean, we could sandbag the options. We could just put, like, you know, it's that or, like, an the hour of filming Leo's toilet. You know, we could really find some other options for new show plus that aren't as appealing. Yeah. The black screen show. <laughs> I think our community would be super down for the black screen show. I agree. Bunch of rascals in that discord. Okay. Okay, please eat some stuff. Please make room. Please. Please. I beg of you, just be smarter about inventory management. Please, my son. <laughs> I'll be ready to live off beets forever because that's all we got, baby. <laughs> and we, boy, do we got them. All right. Could be worse. This is true. Are you cooking a fish again? Yep. Is that one of the ones we need? Is that a pomfret? <laughs> you know, I was starving. Look, man, people do crazy <laughs> things in these situations. They cook things that they shouldn't cook. I've been nibbling on my feet at night. You can't hold anything against me, man. You're right. I can't. <laughs> I have so many other fish, too. That was so stupid. <laughs> oh, boy. We're a couple of numbskulls, aren't we? You and me together? <laughs> aren't we both? <laughs> <laughs> just the same amount of silly. We're living off beets from now on, okay? I'm just gonna be cooking beets. All right. In my DJ studio. <laughs> Leo, you, <laughs> you already acknowledged that the word beets is like the word beets. <laughs> uh, sorry, <laughs> you're right. It's the ocean madness. You're yeah, right. If we're having so many of these, you could call us the Beatles. Regular regular Ringo over here. <laughs> and that's why the episode three is so guaranteed, is because we barely scratched the surface of... <laughs> For Peach. <laughs> <laughs> Just beat it. Oh. Oh. Yay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray. Good job. I got another palm fruit for you, honey. Oh, okay. And what's the other one we need? A, ma a herring. Yeah. This quest for a herring is not as fruitful as I was hoping for. Okay, but keep keep your stick on the ice. Keep your keep your pole in the water. Here we go. This shark definitely looks more messed up. Much more messed up than when we started. But you're saying you saw another shark that was beautiful. It, it was dark. Going? And it looked like the shark didn't have scars on it. I'm hoping that that was just the, a trick of the light. <laughs> yeah, because Lord knows if we kill this one shark, that's the end of sharks. I would feel good about it. I would feel great about it. I need um, one of those beer hats, but for water. If that's a crafting option that you have, I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> That'd be cool. That was one of my favorite limited time uh, pieces of clothing in Grand Theft Auto Online. It was like a 4th of July thing. The beer oh. helmet. And I think you could actually drink stuff out of it. Really? I bet that game was quite neat. God, they just released the um, total sales of GTA 5. I don't know if you saw that tweet. And um, you wouldn't believe what they were. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'm watching it. Tell me if this joke is as funny as I think it was, Leo. Um, although I basically just did it. But um, I'm watching Veep for the first time, which is so much better than I was expecting. I know people always raved about it, but I was always like, ah, it seems like some smart thing. I don't know if I really get it, but I am just loving it. Yeah. But, but um, Selena Meyer, Julie Louis Dreyfus, she's, she's not very smart, and she's just always trying to impress people, and it never goes well, and she's very shallow and all that stuff. And um, there's a character on the show who always says, like, fun fact. This is a fun fact for everything. And um, and some random citizen is, like, meeting her. And she's trying to just make small talk. And she goes, because uh, the person has, like, a bee pin on him. And she goes, fun fact about bees. Uh, throughout the lifetime, the amount of honey that a bee makes 
is either more or less than you'd expect. <laughs> so I I scared my girlfriend with how hard I laughed at that chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> really cool. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. What's the what do you think? What's the last time you laughed weirdly hard at a joke from a TV show or movie? Uh, weirdly hard. Probably would have been recently. I've been watching Mr. Mayor. Oh, how is that? I like it. Okay. Does it feel like another step down from Kimmy Schmidt? Because I like Kimmy Schmidt's first season a fair bit, but definitely was like, wow, this is no 30 Rock. And is Mr. Mayor kind of in that lineage then as well? Of just like, it's good, but it's no Kimmy Schmidt. It's in the same tier as Kimmy Schmidt, I think, as it okay. reminds you of 30 Rock, but isn't quite as funny. Yeah. But there's been some good moments. There's been some big belly laughs. Any you can recite for the audience? We're all waiting patiently. Uh, I don't know. Probably not. I liked uh, Bobby Moynihan's character. What's his deal? He's uh, the oldest person named Jaden <laughs> on the planet. <laughs> and he works for the mayor? Yeah. That's pretty good. That's a good character. Bring me over. Fart. Fart. <laughs> Farted. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> that would be cool. Just muffled. I, I've been the history of farts. It's gotten close at some point on Earth. That's a good point. Uh, how are those fish coming? Fine. Still looking for the herring, Captain. All right. Let's keep it that way. Okay. Um, sir. Yep. Permission to climb into the bed and go to sleep forever? Okay, if you must. Until perhaps the next episode of Raftatui? Did you make a shoe? No, why? There's a shoe here. What are you talking about? <laughs> how, are you, how are you doing this? All right, that's all for this episode <laughs> of Raftatui. Thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. See you next episode, or or we all die. That's right. You can vote on Patreon if you want us to continue this grand adventure, and also let us know in the comments if you want us to do a time skip if we do end up continuing this. We'd appreciate the input. If we aren't back next week, we drowned. <laughs> That's right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Do you want to get your name or Twitch or YouTube channel in the description of everything we release? Record a podcast with us, put a picture of your choice on MinMax's TV, or a whole lot more? You can check out the benefits for supporting us on Patreon. If you support MinMax at any tier on Patreon, you can submit questions or comments for us to read on the air, and you'll also get access to the wonderful MinMax Discord. We need your help to keep this whole indie trainer rolling, so we'd appreciate it if you checked us out.